Hey guys, Colin Smith here from Photoshop Cafe and we're at NAB and we're at the walk-on booth and I'm here with Joe. Hey and guys. And Joe's got something really exciting he wants to show us. So we've got the Cintiq Pro 32 here. This is the new flagship from Wacom. We've got all of our new pen displays have gone 4K, high color, uh, pretty much just amazing. And we've also got this attached to our new stand. You can actually now finally rotate. So. The new Cintiqs also use, we, like with everything, we've updated our pen technology for the first time in a while, so our pens have been improved pretty much across the board. Better pressure sensitivity, better tilt support, less lag, less parallax. Everything about these new tools is bigger, faster, cooler than it ever has been before. We also now have the ability to slip a computer back into the backside, something called the Cintiq Pro Engine. It's not on this one, it's on our Cintiq 24 right behind us. We want to come back over here. Come on. This little bad boy turns our Cintiqs now into an all-in-one computer, or at least like an all-in-one computer with very little cable management. The new pen technology, we've got the Express Key Remote, which is, think of it as 17 of your favorite keyboard shortcuts, all programmed into a device you can put wherever you want. You can put it in your left hand, your right hand, whatever works for you, you can put it in your desk if you don't want to use it, and just stick with your keyboard. We have the new Pro Pen 3D, which translates to a three button pen, which means that now for all you people that were working 3D apps that needed that three button mouse, we can simulate all three of those button buttons from your mouse right here with my pen. So I've got precision anywhere I want with all of my button controls that I'd normally have with a mouse. These new displays, they're all 4K, they're all just shy of, if not at 100% Adobe RGB. We've got USB-C back there. We've got DisplayPort, HDMI, or USB for connectivity. You can actually toggle between two inputs, so I can connect a Mac and a PC or a Linux box and toggle between those now with a 4K KVM switch built in. These things finally, in my opinion, really speak to the video VFX basically the NAB market. For designers and illustrators, that's where the big improvements were. So illustration, animation, design, all of those people that everybody already knows were popular for. What we did with the pen, in, in, you know, I listed off some of the specs, but 8,000 levels of pressure, um, better tilt support. The big thing, in my opinion, is the lower click state. So we actually register a click, so that very natural pencil on paper, when you start to draw, it actually draws one gram. One of the things you'll hear a lot of people say is, well, I know a bunch of devices that have 8,000 levels of pressure. Think about the, the span of that pressure though. If you have 8,000 levels between two and four grams, and we have one between one and 10 grams, basically you're splitting a lot more hairs with ours than you are with our competitors. Something to keep in mind, and if that is what separates Wacom and makes it feel so natural in the pen hand of any artist. So the other thing we have here are our mobile studios and our small format Cintiq Pros. One of the things that gets, it's an unsung hero of the mobile studios. These are all-in-one, ultrabook platform, best pen technology on the market. Express keys, just like the Express Key Remote, we've got four on, well, eight Express keys on the uh, mobile studio Pro 16 inch. This thing's got a Quadro M1000 graphics, 512 solid state drive, i7 KB Lake, you know, CPU, things bad to the bone. A lot of people don't realize you can actually plug another display into it, like a Cintiq Pro. I can plug my Cintiq Pro 24 or 32 into it, or if I'm a Mac user, and I am, I can plug in my MacBook Pro into this center port here, and this becomes a Cintiq for my MacBook Pro. Something that's unique about that, I mean, it's, there's no other device like it on the market. The other cool part about it is it stops using the CPU, so this thing runs as a battery-powered Cintiq, think about that, for like six hours, so longer than your MacBook Pro. If I wanted to sit in a coffee shop, work on the Cintiq on my MacBook, I've got a cord free aside from that one USB-C cable. It's amazing. <laughs> How much is that? These, the mobile studios, the 13 starts at around 2000 and works our way up to 3200. How much are these? So the, the Cintiq Pro 32 is pen and touch, roughly $3,200. The 24 starts with a pen only at just under 2000 and the pen and touch is around $2,400. Don't quote me on any of those prices because different resellers will have different prices on them. 